Welcome to Disney's Pop Century Resort. We stay here all the time. Uh, it's great for the Skyliner, it's a convenient location, and the price is not too bad. I think we're just about $200 a night here this time. Um, but looking forward to another great stay here at Pop Century. This is the main building here. The front entrance is right over here. This is where you'll get Magical Express for the time being and where we got dropped off by the Uber last night. Just to the left of that in the main building, this is the bus stop. So right now, not too bad out there. Magic Kingdom seems to be loading up even though it opened a couple, uh, about an hour ago. Um, but yeah, this is where we catch all the buses. Really convenient. The 90 section is located right over there. And as we scroll around the 50 section, is you can barely see the bowling pin sticking up right over there. So everything, I find it to be a little closer than the all-star resorts are and, and certainly a little closer to all the parks, so not as much of a journey. There's a cool little cart right here. They used to haul guests around in. That's awesome. And then right to the right of the entrance is Bell Services and luggage assistance should you need it. To the lobby here and welcome to Pop Century. On the right as soon as you enter is a little section for the kids to get together. It does have a TV, it looks like it's empty right now. But it has a TV that's normally on but it's turned off right now for social distancing purposes. And then this is the lobby area. Pictures behind the desks from the 50s all the way through the 90s. And on the right hand side here, they got all these cool shadow boxes that will take you through decades. So it's fun to come in here and see if there's anything you recognize. Cool. We have named that tune now. Uh, it's currently a TV show, and as you can see here, it was an old 50s board game with a vinyl record. There's some Mickey Mouse Club stuff in the 50s. Cool lunchbox right there. Who doesn't love it? Old, cool, old school jukebox. I know I would kill for this Disneyland monorail game. That looks awesome. And there's Rowan and Martin's laughing, and you're still over here. Comment down below if you've ever watched a little out of 12 in your day. The 1970s, of course, featured the opening of the Magic Kingdom and Walt Disney World. We're moving through the years now. I'm gonna guess the 80s. We got some floppy disks up here. We got a gigantic personal computer. This is an Apple, one of the first Apples here. Take a look at this fax machine. Who has one of these? A Walkman and what we used to shoot with my family had one of these, the Sony Handycam. We're about to go into Everything Pop. And this has the shopping and dining for this resort. The only shopping and dining outside of the pool bar. This is the, currently the Everything Pop food court here. It's mobile order only for the time being. So you got a mobile order ahead of time. And they'll help you out at the beverage assist section right there but large big open food court connected to the store here we are this is the 50s section we got the cool sayings from the 50s dreamy crazy man and the section we're staying in has this gigantic jukebox 
and a bunch of vinyls. And we're down there at the end. Got these cool bowling shoes in the bowling shoe rack here. And this is probably the laundry facilities here at the pool. The bowling pin pool, it is. Nobody in there right now, so we can take a look. Washers, dryers, everything you need to get going for your day. And then some men's rooms. So at the bowling pin pool, we got some outdoor ping pong it looks like here's another look at the pool from the ground level the pop does offer some recreational experiences here they got a tie-dye for five to six that is pay for play and these are the current pool hours Open till 11, and then every night the movie Under the Stars. There's each day of the week for you, currently, in April 2021. This building features Tramp as the icon. There he is, guarding over his tower, while opposite him, of course, would be Lady. And then if we scroll to the side real quick, this building over here, which I believe is probably a pool building, is disguised as her doghouse. Kind of cute. So we move on to the 1960s now. And each of these towers is flanked by a giant yo-yo guarding the stairwell. And in the middle is the main pool for the resort. This is the Hippy Dippy Pool, shaped like a flower petal, as it is themed to the 60s. Right now, nice and empty, ready to go for the day. Another look from this side, looking back at the lobby area. And right here on the left, we'll zoom in on it. This is Petal's Pool Bar, right there. Right next to the bar for your or right next to the pool rather for your convenience one of the buildings has the play-doh on it and then across the way we have baloo and mowgli on the other side really cool figures there Finally here, there's a little splash pool for, the, for younger ones as part of the pool complex here in the 60s. Right beyond that is, you can sort of see it through the woods there, through the palm trees, is the entrance to the Skyliner for this resort. So, uh, walk right that way. If you stay in the 60s, you are right here next to the Skyliner, ready to go. Here they are. Here's Mowgli a little closer. And then way up there is Baloo, ready to greet you on your stay. As we move into the 70s, we have Goofy here. And he is guarding this Corvette to the side. So we're firmly in the 70s now, and one of the uh, icons is the big wheel. Right here, the middle courtyard features the foosball table. The life size or bigger than life foosball table. It's good to see these guys are out here touching them up, making the paint look good on the foosball players. And then, of course, the other side belongs to the old Mickey Mouse telephone. Comment below if you've had one of these in your life. I know I did it one time. A lot of people won't even know what a corded phone is anymore. But he is the icon of this side. The end caps for the 70s are these 8-track tapes. They guard the stairwells in the 70s, and if you look across here, you'll see Hourglass Lake right there. And then far on the other side are the Cars Rooms for Art of Animation Resort. So you're that close, just one bridge away, uh, and on that bridge is the Skyliner. So easy enough to get around 
here at Disney's Pop Century. So we look here, we're about to enter the 90s and the 80s. And Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head are here. The walkway on along, around, along, I combined those words. Uh, Hourglass Lake has these cool facts for every single year. It's kind of cool to walk along. See what was going on the year you may have been born. Um, so, definitely got to check these out all the way to uh, what well, looks like past 1990. So, all the way from... We walk across the keyboard here. We're in the 80s and 90s now. And this is the computer pool. It's a square pool or a rectangle pool. And that one building represents the 90s. It has a laptop screen up there. And there are a few, few cool hidden things in it, like a, a reference to Disney's MGM Studios. So if you get a chance to come over here, definitely check that out. As we go back in time a little bit, we're gonna scroll into the 80s. The cool Pac-Man symbols on the railings up there. And then our good pal Roger Rabbit is on this side. We'll slowly turn. And what better represents the 80s and 90s than a Walkman? Am I right? And then at the end is a Rubik's Cube. Reach the stairwells here in the 90s and 80s. Correction, the 80s featured the Rubik's Cube, but the 90s, of course, dominated by these bad boys. Old school cell phones. All right, here's the room tour. We're at Pop Century 2210. Here's the look from the terrace. It's a wooded area, but the pool is right over that way, over there. And now we're going to go in. We're right next to the parking lot too, so if you're looking for park, Welcome there's Brittany. to the room. So when we walk in here, we got a little side table here, and table and chairs. This will be the fold down bed for later. On the opposite side from that, the coffee nook comes with these nice new fridges with the glass doors on them, so you make sure you don't leave anything behind. Little multi-purpose drawer right here. Ice bucket, cups, everything you need. Over here, nice big TV in these remodeled rooms. These have the laminate pseudo hardwood flooring on them. And then it has the chest of drawers. Lots of plugs, USBs. These are just, this is where your safe is, down here. And spare pillows down there, in case you needed any more pillows. From this bed, which only has 1,600 pillows on it. The phone is right next to it, and this is right about the headboard. This cool Mickey Mouse design. We're gonna move into the bathroom here. That's me. And when we come back out, the second bed will be pulled down. Here's a little closet area. More shelving right here. Ironing board is up here in the corner. And these are just, this is the hair dryer. And the iron located right there next to a big old mirror with me in it. And when you come in here, this does have, to have a dividing door. We can pull shut there. And then additionally, it has a second door right here that you can pull before you get in the shower with another full length mirror. We go in here, the shower. Good little walk-in area here, not too tall, so really well designed for that. Hand soaps on, and shampoos on the wall in the pump style. And then you got the rainfall and the handheld. And then the full shower closes that way. We'll pull this pocket back door, pocket door back out. And magic, what do you know? The bed is pulled down over the table and chairs. Chairs have to be moved over to the side. And on top of that, you get Pluto sleeping and dreaming 
of bones. That is it. That's our room tour here. And we hope if you're looking to stay at Pop Century, these rooms are clean, efficient. I think the remodel was done really well. And uh, we like staying here when we come for the proximity to the Skyliner and the affordability of the room. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Subscribe down below.